Be it Dima in the US, the Salon de la Plongée in Paris or the Moscow Dive Show, every year around the world there is a large number of water sport fairs presenting new activities, showcasing destinations and introducing new equipment. But among the lot, one definitely stands out. Held every year at the end of January in Germany in the northwestern city of Düsseldorf, Boat, literally meaning boat in German, is the largest water sport fair in the world. With 2,000 exhibitors from over 50 countries, Boat Düsseldorf is considered a benchmark for the international boat and water sports industry. It lasts nine days and this year it celebrated its 50th birthday. And no matter if you're after a new luxury super yacht, need some sails for your catamaran, want to pick up surfing or more simply you're an enthusiast and enjoy taking a stroll with the family, this is the place to go. But aside of all the glamour and mostly unattainable dreams made of fiberglass, there is one side of this show which is very relevant to us. In Hall 3, every year meets the creme de la creme of the diving industry. Be it the big and small manufacturers of scuba equipment, tour operators promoting their destinations, resellers offering bargains, all the major diving organizations, different media outlets, as well as the diving public, everybody meets here for nine days of exchange and full immersion into the sport. Given the nature and width of this event, there would be far too much to cover in a single video, so to give you guys the best of the best, I decided to offer you a look at the most interesting innovations of this year's show. And in no particular order, here they are. To begin with, I want to show you something rather interesting coming from France. In time of self-driving cars and VR experiences, let me introduce Maui. Getting its name from a Polynesian water god and finding its place on top of your mask, this unique head-up display dive computer allows you to keep your attention where it matters the most, on your dive. Produced in the sunny south of France by Tala 2 and aimed at a recreational diver, Maui clearly and concisely displays all the relevant information for your dive at one glance on the display in front of your mask. No more distractions and messing around with something on your wrist or console, everything happens right in the field of view. No matter if you work underwater and need your hands to be free, take pictures or simply want to enjoy what swims past. This computer lets you do that. It's going to be available from February, retailing at 699 euro. Maui is an experience to try. Next up, if you follow the developments in recreational diving, you will have noticed that there is a progressive interest aimed at shifting the recreational market more and more towards the closed circuit system. And here is something that plans to be a real game changer in recreational rebreather diving. No one less than Maris has created the Horizon, a new rebreather aimed at the recreational market. And who could describe it better than one of its developers and technical innovator at Maris? Here is Horizon. My name is Paul Raymarkers. I'm responsible for uh, development of rebreathers at Maris, both river breeders and the new Maris Horizon. The Maris Horizon rebreather is a new semi closed rebreather that is aimed at the dive public starting from the single tank, 30 meter no deco diver up to the twin set deco stage long duration three hour diver. The Mars Horizon is a semi closed rebreather, uses any nitrox up to, from 30 up to 99% and can be used as a single gas, it's no deco unit up to a dual gas accelerated deco unit. You probably haven't heard the name Serenity Concept before, but surely you might have had the wish for this next innovation to exist or possibly even thought the idea up yourself. No matter how experienced the diver, when diving from a boat in open water, there always is a margin for error, potential risk and surely one pulsating question, where is my boat? To answer this question and put more safety into diving, Serenity Concept has introduced a brand new dive computer, helping you to find your way back to the dive boat. Working with a submersible GPS beacon, this computer will guide you back, showing you the distance to the boat up to one kilometer. Here is Yannick, the founder, talking to us about his product. Hi, I'm Yannick Almeras from Serenity Concept. I'm the founder of the company and I developed a, a specific dive computer to show you the way back to your boat. 
So it's a, a computer as normal as usual with a Bullman uh, algorithm of decompression. So up to 40% uh, uh, of uh, nitrogen. We show you the way to your boat, so indicate by uh, the direction and the distance between you and your boat. As a diver, we depend on the air we breathe, and nothing is more important than ensuring that what gets through our regulator and into our lungs is clean and not contaminated. Contamination is something that can occur during the filling process, meaning that the air in the cylinders presents high levels of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrocarbons, oil or even dust. This is no joke and can cause serious and possibly life-threatening damage to divers. For a more in-depth look at this, actually check the link to Dan's reference series on health and diving, talking about breathing gas contamination. You can find the link in the description below. But fear not! Because to ensure clear air at all times, Bauer, the compressor manufacturer from Germany, is presenting an air and gas measuring system called B-Detection Plus. Having paid a visit at a very cool and aesthetically appealing Bauer standard boat, in the words of Helmut Lechner from Bauer, here is an explanation of the system. Hello, good morning. My name is Helmut Lechner. I'm working for Bauer Compressors and I will show you the B-Detection Plus. The B-Detection Plus can measure CO, CO2, O2, humidity and oil contaminations. You can measure oil and all the other contaminations on a cylinder and on a compressor. The aim of this is measure all contaminations which can occur during filling breathing your cylinders and you can make your dive safe and you can have fun. When it comes to diving, the wetsuit or isolation system is one of the most important aspects. Nothing is worse than conducting a dive and suddenly being cold or stuck in an uncomfortable suit. On the market, there is a huge variety of suits in all shapes and colors. But as all bodies are different, finding the perfect suit, offering warm and comfort, as well as being aesthetically pleasing, is not easy. To offer help and assist with this task, enter Calypse. Based in the sunny south of France, Calypse produces wonderful high-quality tailor-made and handcrafted wetsuits. The highest grade of neoprene is used to ensure maximum comfort as well as isolation, offering you plenty of toasty and comfortable diving. To start, you'll get your measurements taken, select a thickness ranging from 3, 5 or 7 mm, and finally choose your colour, combination and style, and a few weeks after, you get your Calypse suit delivered straight to your door. Try to believe it, but rest assured, you are very likely not to dive any other wetsuit ever again if you try one of these. In Greek mythology, the sirens or mermaids, half women, half fish, were dangerous creatures who lured nearby sailors with their enchanting music and singing voices to shipwreck on the rocky coast of their island. My encounter with mermaids, though, was far from dangerous or hostile, as I had the pleasure to meet the beautiful and very talented mermaid cat and her team of mermaids. Talk about turning a dream into reality and a profitable business, and here is a textbook example for that. Mermaid Cat is a professional mermaid, mermaid trainer and underwater stunt woman based in Perth, Australia. She travels the world as an ambassador of the ocean and swims in her mermaid tails with creatures like dolphins, turtles, whales, manta rays and sharks to create awareness for the ocean environment. The professional mermaid also features in a huge number of movies, TV commercial and advertisement projects. At this year's boat, she was presenting a line of mermaid tails and enchanting the crowd with her lovely team. Hello, my name is Mermaid Cat and I'm a full-time professional mermaid and underwater stunt woman. When I was about five years old, I watched the Disney movie The Little Mermaid for the first time and I was just absolutely hooked and dreamed about becoming a mermaid myself. And it took me about 20 years and when I finally decided to start my training to become an instructor for scuba diving and spend so much time underwater I remembered this childhood dream and this time I decided I'm gonna make it come true. Then I started with free diving and built my very first mermaid day and this is how Mermaid Cat was officially born in May 2012. And when I started working at my first few public events, I quickly realized that I wasn't the only little girl who dreamed about becoming a mermaid. Indeed, there were so many other girls and women who came towards me and said, oh my God, you're a mermaid, I want to become a mermaid myself. And then I had the idea 
why shouldn't I help others to fulfill their dreams? And so I started the Mermaid Cat Academy, which was the very first public mermaid school in the whole world. And since then, my instructors and me, we have trained over 6,000 students in becoming mermaids and mermen worldwide. And of course, teaching so many people on how to swim with the legs tied together in the water requires professional mermaid equipment. And this is how I decided to develop my own range of highly functional mermaid tails, which we now sell at Mermaid Cat Shop. And in case you didn't know it, mermaiding is the next big thing.